Hi again everybody, we're back. Uh, Great American Crappers with Kyle. Third and final review of the night. Uh, I'm going to save the Evil Twin Stout that I bought in there. I was going to give it away for next week. Uh, I do have some beers I'm going to probably drink in. I got some... This is uh, not very big. I got some... I picked this up. And of course, you know me. as It's on sale at $10.99. Look at this. On a date. But it's still... I try to shout out it. It tastes good. But uh, yeah, last beer review of the night. I got one there I'm going to review next week. And I got a couple of beers that I've had that I'm going to partake. The Neapolitan Milk Stout from Sockatuck. My God, so good. And then they're a little free. I bought a bottle of that and a mix six pack. So good to try new stuff, but also good to try old classics. I'm not going to forget that. Uh, for our sampling question and tasting the lights on tonight's nightcap, I have one here that I have not had from a, a great, great local brewery favorite of mine. It's the Urban Artifact. This is the Flash Lamp. The Flash Lamp, folks. I have not had this one. This is actually not getting great reviews. I think it could be good. I've never had a beer from Artifact that I have not enjoyed and not think was awesome even though i've had a lot of weird styles and a lot of interesting twists they've all been good now this is a this is considered to be a tart white ale now that, 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 how, how unique is that effect? i mean let's say my folks the tart brand everything's tart with them and, and they've been so good uh a couple particulars about the beer it says tart white ale brewed with 45 pounds of trappist seville orange marlamade 1.17 1 1 1 pounds of coriander, 3 ounce of rose petals, malted barley, <laughs> flaked oats, and torrified wheat, and refreshing twist on a classic ale. It says, utilizing flash powder and ignited by an electric current, the flash lamp provided the necessary burst of light to make flash photography in reality in the early 20th century brighten up your day. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. That that's a, this is interesting for me. I yeah, I think I think good thoughts. I love every artifact. You know, it's like let's get it. And there's a sticker. I'm into this, folks. If you see the this can artwork's cool, the sticker you, you can't only see back there on my side of my eyes. I'm putting that. A lot of these cans, Urban Artifact's great with this, and some other brewers are getting on. But you can peel the label off and just collect the decal. Now, most people would say, "What are you doing? You're nuts!" But there's a few people like me that like it, and I'm not alone. I would say. 80% of people think we're crazy, but there's another 20% that are into that. So, uh, again, 5.5% alcohol by volume on this, 5.5 on this tart white ale uh, from Urban Artifact. We're going to give it a shot, folks. I I can't imagine it being bad. I've had 20, I've had probably closer to 20 beers from Urban Artifact, and they've all been great. I, I just can't imagine it being a bad beer. may not be my favorite from them, and that's what has me put the and I said this was not a great beer. And they didn't say it was an awful beer. They just said it's not one of their faves in Urban. So let's go ahead and get a pour. I have this up on glassware. Rinsed and red. Let's go ahead and get a pour on this. The white IP. Oh my god. is that That's white. Folks. Folks. I don't know if I've ever seen this. This is whiter than a pear. My god. I, okay. Okay. Get into the can. That's whiter than a, than a pear coming out of the can. Folks. My God, I've never seen a beer that white. Let's ghostly white. Now there's some head on the beer. Oh, that's actually good for Urban. Now nah, not much aroma. Yeah, we're gonna see. I, you know, I hope I'm thinking good thoughts with it. Flashlight. This is one I've not tried, not had ever. Uh, it is kind of pricey, two twenty for a can. That's not awful, I guess, but it's certainly not a great deal. Now there's the poor head dissipating very quickly. My God, that's ghostly white almost. Uh, some carbonation, so not well carbonated. And the aroma's very light. I mean, you're getting some some the, the, some of the coriander's in there. Caramel, yes. The coriander's in there. Uh, orange marijuana. Coriander, for sure. I'm getting a lot of coriander. It says flaked oats, torrified wheat. Coriander's a big distinguishing. I'm also getting some citrus. Uh, 45 pounds of trap. I'm getting some citrus in there as well. So, what's like the brewers that are in effect? They have not saved me wrong with anything I've drank from them. Even the some of the lesser beers in Urban that I thought were not my favorite were still, you know, B B plus beers. Uh, a lot of them been A plus beers. So cheers to Urban Artifact and again, yeah, cheers to their watching Friday night. Cheers, guys. Here we go. Yeah, they were right. <laughs> uh, and I think it's just a style of beer. Uh huh. White ales, white IPAs, I do not like. I've never liked really any of them. 
So I'm going to give Urban Artifact a pass on this. But it's just, there's nothing to this beer. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm going to tell you right now, it's a, it's a C plus for me. I think it's, it's a craft beer. I think there is some, some coriander, some orange peel. Uh, but even for Urban Artifact, the tartness is not there. This is definitely, uh, your least favorite Urban. And I'm not even knocking, I'm not Urban. I mean, I'm 15 for 15 with these guys. So giving them a pass on this. I just wanted to try and get the stick of the artwork's cool. And get it on the reviews and get it on the books. Urban Artifact still rocks. They're killer. This is a swing and a miss. Uh, I'll finish. I'll chug it. I mean, I'm not trying to be like that. But I'll chug the beer. I, I'd say it's a C plus. It's a step above Miller Light Coors Light. Oh, it's a crap beer. It just, there's just nothing, nothing to this. It almost, let's get it again. Nothing to this. Nothing to this. Yeah, a little bit of tartness on that sip. Okay, that sip, it's a little more drinkable, but... Yeah, even so, for Urban Artifact standards, this is not, it's gonna, I'm gonna say C+. Plus. I just, there's not a whole lot to this. You know, that sea salt flavor, almost like a tart ghost. Uh, not a, like I said, nothing wrong with this beer. I think if you're, if you've never, like, say you've drank Bud Miller Light your whole life, Coors Light, you know, Bush Light, Natty Light, you know, Beer Pong, College Frat Guy, and you've never had a craft beer, and I'm talking, uh. I'm talking craft beer virgin, like never even a Sam Adams, or never even a Yingling, or a Blue Moon. This may be the beer for you, because it's a step above that, but not a lot. I mean, honestly, Blue Moon's on par with this. It, it, this, this isn't much to this beer. I'm not saying it is it awful, no. Is it pissed? No. Yeah, some people may like this. I just think, for what I've drank, my matter of fact, and what I know they can make, this is not, uh... Yeah, so I don't know. Uh, I, I, you know. I'm not knocking Urban again. I'm not. I, I love Urban Artifact. One beer is not going to change my. I could have three bad beers from Urban Artifact. I'm not, it's not going to tell my opinion of the 15 beers that I've loved and praised and think are tremendous. So, C plus for me. I'm going to get off here. <laughs> but uh, C plus beer for me, guys. Uh, see you guys later and uh, cheers, everybody. And we'll see you soon. Cheers.